You see there are so many people impacted instantaneously by this overnight explosion on New Year's Day. This block changed forever, nearly unrecognizable just hours into the new year. Take a look at these pictures for yourself. From Google Earth here, you see the homes intact just before the explosion. From Dr Drone Watch 3 is the rubble after the explosion. Eyewitness News reporter Marcella Bayetto joining us now with the story of a family impacted by this explosion. Marcella. Natasha, it was a devastating start for so many families here in Port Richmond. One of those families includes the Barretts, who live right behind me. They've been in this home for about two years. Contractors are hard at work repairing damage following a New Year's Day suspected gas explosion in Port Richmond. That's what landed on top. I mean, for Frank Barrett, his bedroom sustained the most damage. A gaping hole in the ceiling is all that's left after drywall and insulation fell on top of him just before 3 a.m. on Sunday. First thing I did, I was in my underwear. I jumped out of bed, got out from underneath the debris, and ran to the bathroom, yelled down to everybody to see if everybody was okay. He says after making sure no one in his family was hurt, he then tried. To get a hold of his landlord. By the time I called my landlord, it was about five o'clock in the morning. Barrett says his landlord was in shock and planned for contractors to come out to the home on Monday to assess the damage. And he assured me that you know everything's going to get taken care of through the homeowners insurance and uh, you know replace the windows. The contractors tell Barrett it'll take about two weeks to finish up all the repairs. Including the framing of the windows and the roof. But right now, they're just trying to keep the water out of the house and keep uh, any intruders from from coming in. And really, my heart goes out to these folks that that were injured. I mean, I, I'm lucky. You know, I got to wake up today, and and uh, I, my my family, they're they're all safe. Now, another aspect of how this is impacting these families here is how the explosion impacted people's mental health. Now, for the Barretts, they say they're, of course, pretty shaken up still, but they're just thankful to be alive. Live here in Port Richmond, Marcella Bayetto, CBS3 Eyewitness News. Well, thank you so much, Marcella. And that is certainly a sentiment that's been echoed by so many residents here in the neighborhood. We have talked to several in the past several hours that we've been out here. One Port Richmond resident say they have seen the spirit of humanity in their neighbors, everybody just trying to help each other out at this point. He calls it Port Richmond Strong. That's the very latest here in Port Richmond tonight. Natasha Brown, CBS3 Eyewitness News. And TV. Natasha, many thanks to you, our reporters and crews, for bringing us the story tonight.